Well, welcome to Aloft, the pre-alpha demo. Hello again there, friends and fans, Raptor here, and welcome to our lovely island here in Aloft. Now, you know how it is in Raft and Subnautica where you explore the world and you can build multiple bases, or at least in Raft, you're building a vehicle that you can travel from island to island. Well, this game kind of combines both of those into one. In this game, we actually make an island base that we can bring with us. We can put sails and windmills and such on a base and build farms and then transport the island around through the wind. There's a giant hurricane out there, and so we're going to have to eventually go into that, I'm assuming, and brave the storm once we build an island big enough. See you all know, the blinking lights out there, too? Different types of islands that we can explore once we built our island big enough. But for now, we're going to have to jump from island to island to gather materials in this survival crafting game in order to build a base and then, of course, start settling it for moving around. Right now, we're at our quote-unquote home base. You see the little smiley face in the lower left corner? We're going to have to look around for things like rocks and uh, wood in these trees in order to build more. But unfortunately, we don't have a pickaxe or an axe at the start, so we'll have to look around for materials. So yeah, games like Raft. Yeah, you build a raft and you go from island to island, gathering things like clay and metal scrap and whatnot and smelting it down. And like in Subnautica, you build a base and then come back to it in a myriad of vehicles. And then, of course, you deliver those resources for processing. But this kind of combines the best of both worlds in this one. And there seems to be many different island types, too. Some with massive trees, some with rocks, or and more. Oh, well, looks like we can actually grab some branches here to get started. We better do just that then so we can start our adventure. Now, we don't have any blueprints at the moment, so we're going to have to eventually go around and grab uh, some blueprints by going to these little sacred rocks here. That'll show us exactly uh, the more blueprints that we can use in order to explore the world. And here we have our character. This is us for now, and since this is a demo, I don't know if we can make our own character in the future, but I'm assuming we'll be able to customize them since we have access to helmets and chest plates and leg wear and also wings, too. Now we're going to explore around, just like how you get a scuba suit in Subnautica. Here, we will get ourselves a, uh, I guess, a wing suit in order to fly around and glide from destination to destination, stamina permitting. All right, well, we've gathered a few sticks. We can always come back here. We can fly back here. Uh, fairly easily, so if I missed any sticks, which I know we have, like that one there, we'll come back. All right, let's go find some other islands to go explore. So there was one island that had a sacred rock on it. Those rocks actually give us blueprints that we can use to build things like crafting benches and other types of stations in order to process more materials. We're never going to make it over to that one, so we better find one that we can strictly jump to, which is right over here with the little ribbon on it. There we go. All right, leap of faith. Let's see if we can make it. Hey, first try. Cool, you can actually see our character's shadow. Nice. All right. Our most valuable resource, creativity, was truly limitless. All right, let's learn that. All right, the workbench is now unlocked. Excellent. Looks like we might be able to gather these small trees, too, which also gives us leaf. So we'll be able to uh, make something out of that. So let's gather all these. Since we're about to do some crafting... Uh, let's see, is that it? One more. Looks like we can gather that one too. Those small little bushes and things like that can be gathered. This might actually require an axe, yeah. Alright, well that looks good. Any caves? No, but there are caves on these islands too. And things like water, although in the game we just have what looks to be health and stamina to manage for now. Considering that this is a demo, there could be a lot more things like um, hunger and whatnot to worry about where different types of meals might eventually give us different types of resistance to hunger over time. Workbench, used to craft and manufacture items. Takes five wood to build that. Looks like we have ourselves some favorite items, some base building items here. Things that can be made out of uh, what looks to be stone and plant fibers and wood. Uh, we have things to sail with. Machinery like our crafting bench and power too. We can obviously use wind power for things like windmills and whatnot. Hey, look at the crafting bench. That looks nice. Nice old hunk of wood with the mortar and pestle and clamps and wood carving tools. Nice. Very cool. Let's go ahead and place that right here next to our little trophy. No, our shrine. Yeah, there you go. All right. Let's see what we can make. Uh, items marked with a question mark are ingredients for a new recipe. Ah, uh, okay. So we have to experiment a little bit to make a new recipe. Long leaf cloth, cheap but robust. 
It can be used as a sailcloth and as a crafting material. All right, let's go ahead and craft a sail out of that. Now what can we make? Looks like we can combine the cloth with wood. To create a glider tier one, artificial wings that allow the user to fly from island to island can be deployed while the user is in the air. Excellent. So now we have some mobility. Great. All right, cool. So press tab, drag the wings to the wing slot, and we can fly. I guess not yet. We'll have to probably jump off the edge and take the leap of faith. All right, well, there's some more wood up there, but let's go explore this island then and see if we can find some more of these. We need these stones in order to get blueprints. Otherwise, we won't be able to make more crafting stations or we'll need more materials to make more recipes. It's also kind of like a research station, too. We have nice flowers. The game looks nice, I must say. I do like how it's um, really... Pu Wait a minute. Is that a... Uh, it's like a hot air balloon all the way over there. Like there's a uh, island there too. Looks like there's a lot of different uh, weather here too. We'll have to avoid that. Here we go. Woo! All right, cool. Wow, we fly awfully fast. All right, looks like this island's filled with rocks. I see what looks to be a landing zone. Oh, there we are. Some sort of a uh, maybe something to dig up. All right. Anyway, let's grab some more materials. So we don't have the ability to make anything out of stone just yet. Oh, there's some stones down here. Whoa, okay. I don't know if there's fall damage. I would imagine not since we kind of came out of the sky like a bat out of hell. Yeah, there we go. Now we have stone. Stone is an important building material. It can be used to craft tools and can be sharpened in a workbench. So it looks like we can't make knives out of that or something. Now, there are enemies in this game too. So there are creatures to kill. We can also make our base into a vehicle. We can do farming. And was that water? Oh, hold E to drink. Oh, that gives us a boost to stamina and to uh, our health. All right, so that's good. Kind of, kind of working like how it does in Valheim, where uh, you don't necessarily need to eat to live, but you do get a lot more health with that. So obviously big benefits there. Looks like there might be different types of rocks here. It might just give us, quote unquote, stone, but... Might be a good idea to gather everything we see. But we can always come back, so that's good. All right, let's grab some more sticks. There we go. And maybe some more stone if we see them. Oh, wait, wait is there a... Oh, that just leads to the cave we were in. Okay, well, this seems fine. I think we can head on back to our original base. It doesn't seem to show us that that's our home base. We know it is, though, because we see the smaller island next to it. So we'll head back that way. Also, the wind seems to be going against us, so we'll have to go against the wind. Bob Seeger. What? Okay. Let's go up this way. We're going to jump into the wind and then head up to that island. It should be a good time. Okay. And a little bit more stickage. There we go. And maybe we can come back. Maybe these sticks will regrow, so it could become a good idea to come back to these locations again in the future. And away we go. Oh, it shows us our house now. Now that we're flying again. There's a long distance we can go to some of these other locations. Seems like they're way far out there, including that what looks to be a hot air balloon, although it's probably not. Okay, well, we have stone now. So two stone gives us the sharpened stone. Can be used in a workbench to craft tools and weapons. So now let's do stone plus stick. Ah, we have a stone axe now. Excellent. Excellent. Cool. What about a pickaxe? Let's see. Uh, let's try to make... Maybe two stones will equal that. So let's try two stones and wood. Oh, a sickle for cutting grass and small plants. Okay. Let's make another st sharpened stone. What about a stone with two sticks? No. Wait, what about two stones and wood? Ah, we have a hammer, a tool for building and repairing structures. Okay. Nice. Oh, look at that. Look at all the things that have unlocked. Wonderful. Stairs. Uh... Looks like flooring and, and different types of wood. 
Uh, structures, that's very good. Alright, let's bank another one of these. We're probably going to need a few of these. So nothing with these two. Wait. Ah, uh, this must be the pickaxe. There it is. Sto stone pickaxe is sharpened stone, rock, and wood. Cool for mining rocks and minerals. Alright, cool. Well, that's a damn good start then. Very good. Alright, so now we've got an axe, pickaxe. We'll probably use the sickle later. And the hammer for building. Cool, so now we can start clearing these islands out. Might be a good idea to go back to that island for eventual um, iron ore or whatnot. Let's see what we got under tab. Hydrated, health improved, good. Consumables. There's definitely food here and miscellaneous items as well. Cool. Alright, um, let's fly back up there. Oh, we have new building options. Alright, so now we can start building a wooden foundation for a permanent home. Now, since our main island is marked with the home icon, I think we might as well turn that one into our base. That way we can always find it. There we go. Lots of trees here, too. Ooh, there's a lot of wind. And now we're at home, smiley face. Oh, we have, uh... Yeah, we have rocks here, too. Ooh, that is some weird-ass mining. Looks like he's casting a spell on the rock. Some Harry Potter level stuff here. Ooh, he went double handed that time. I don't know what prompted that. Anyway, now we have things out of stone. Okay, so we can make roofs like a hobbit. What? We can make a grass roof. Alright, that's kind of cool. I think it's more of an appearance thing. It is still made out of wood, but it'll have grass on it, so that's pleasant rather than just a full wooden structure. Maybe there's some sort of element of stealth for that. If it takes them a little longer to identify that you have a structure, maybe people won't be able to board you. That's a weird looking log right there. Okay, well that's nice. Leaf and wood out of that. So we get quite a bit of wood out of a little bit of work. Come back for those stones later. Let's keep. Uh, let's cut down some bigger trees. Is there a much bigger tree here? That one looks pretty big over there. Give that a shot. Alright, so I wonder if weather and other things will affect our island. Now, with the wind direction, it might work exactly how it does in Raft. I have yet to sail and see some of those things, so we'll have to take a first look at that together. Should be a good time. Alright. So, let's go ahead and do... A little base build here. So now we can also build a workbench here, too. So let's build a little house. Maybe we can build a house in between this... Um, let's see how the foundations work. If we select one of those... Ah, uh, looks like there's different types of foundations, too. So we have the option to put down... Short and tall and narrow and hollow foundations. Might be a good idea for putting a ladder in between that see what we can do here. Uh, it doesn't want to lay it flat, it seems. Ah, I see. The scroll wheel moves its position. And it does show the four corners, which is more than likely where we can attach other items in the future. Now, wait a minute. One thing I want to know is for the trees we cut down, did they just show a stump? They might grow back later, so we might want to build our base based on where we won't interrupt tree regrowing. Yeah, there's a tree there with a stump, so we're definitely going to need more wood, and so we don't want to build the base over there then. Let's build here. And this seems like a good spot, but I want something a little bigger. About as wide as the foundations get, huh? Okay. Let's start right here, then. There we go. And then let's see how nicely it snaps. Ah, pretty good, so long as you point at the corner. That's nice. Sometimes base building in games like Conan Exiles and such can get a little tricky. This one seems to... Oh, it also seems to lay down... Flooring, I guess not, actually. So we'll have to use our construction hammer to probably complete the design. I'd like to build over here, too, but it's not snapping directly to it. I'd like to expand the design a little bit. 
Or we can build on top, maybe. Let's see what else we got for building. So there's our wooden floors. We can build on top of that. That's not letting me do that either. We have stairs. Rotation. Not free rotation, but it definitely looks nice. Oh, and there's different lengths of stairs, too. Oh, look at that. Okay, that's really nice to have a few different options like that. We got more narrow stairs for, like, an attic. We got, like, smaller stairs for a porch or an interior second floor. Very nice. Those are good options. Options are good. And then, of course, we have items for roofing. It does appear that our roof should be made out of grass, but... Uh, and we also have walls and such, too. And round pieces. So we could make maybe a uh, round section to our base. Or an exit of some sort. That's weird. Okay, let's grab our hammer. <laughs> I don't know why our character is hovering, but... Oh, we're getting a lot of bonuses for being, quote-unquote, at home. It looks like we can make a floor on the ground, too, so that's kind of nice. All right, let's continue to build our base pieces. Now, wait a minute. What was this? The plus. Oh, it shows that we have more than just one of that type. Yeah, so there's different sizes for each of those. Very nice. Okay, let's continue building the foundation. And let's build a... We'll probably build a shorter foundation. Or a floor. Although it can't snap directly. There we go. That's the way around that. So the foundation is supposed to sit a little off the ground. But when it comes to being directly on the ground, rather than using using the elevated one, it's best to just use this type. The quote-unquote flooring. Gotcha. Ah, uh, the age of discovery in a new game. Oh, look at that. Our floor is off a little bit, but you'll forgive me. All right, cool. So now we've got a little bit of a base. I'd like to explore more, though, and go find more materials. And uh, we'll put a workbench down for now. Of course, this is just a demo, so everything that we do will be uh, eventually reset. And, of course, you can download this demo for a loft today on Steam as well, as it will eventually release, and you can get in on the action yourself, which seems like a lot of fun. Be able to build many different uh, house types and whatnot over time. Looks like no new building materials, so let's go find some iron or something like that. And maybe we'll fly over to this island uh, over here. So this is the island that had the stones on it. But they might also have iron. We didn't have a pickaxe before. Maybe there's a way to get down here with the pickaxe? Nope. Might need a shovel. Those are some free rocks, but I'm not going to break that down just yet. That might be marking something important, so let's not do that. Ooh, we could also get a lot of wood here with this tree. Oh yeah, look at that. Now what happens if a log goes over the edge? Is it just lost forever? Will it respawn? Looks to be lost forever. No fall damage, it looks like, since we do have ourselves a... Uh, set of wings. It'd be funny, though, if we could actually catch the log and bring it back up here. Oh, this looks like sandstone? Alright. So the stones do appear to be different, but it is the same building material. And trees do appear to be different, and they'll give more material based on their size, so that's good. Alright, there was a rock back here that looked a little sus. No more stone. I'm hoping to get something like clay, for example, so we can actually uh, get ourselves perhaps a smelter or an oven or something like that. Something for farming. Some sort of progression with new items. Like we can't break that down. Well, I certainly do like how the rocks all look different.
That way there's the same material in different uh, visually appealing stone types. So that way when we go to other islands, if they appear to be more of a tropical island or a uh, an island such as this, they'll actually look a little different. It is raining now. Oh, and now we're wet. A debuff. Which gives us heavier stamina consumption. Oh, boy. Oh, look at that rain. That looks great. And maybe some lightning, too. Wow, that's cool. So we obviously want to go home, but of course we also want materials too. I could see spending a bit of time, a bit more time, making a decent house. And I like the uh, way that a house is going to be built in this game too. Very basic, your foundation, floor, door, that type of thing. I don't even know if we had a door. Actually, I didn't see that. Wow, it is a torrential downpour. Never mind, let's go home. I can't even see. I know, I know it's behind us though. Into the into the rain and wind. Well, we might not be able to get home if we were further away because our stamina would run out. Luckily, we're pretty close, so we should be able to make it. Wow, zero visibility. That's incredible. At home, smiley face. Let's get a roof over our heads then, and we can always demolish this. And make it nicer later on. Is there actually a door we can make? No, I don't see one. Alright, we'll just make a gap in the wall. Oh, very nice. Very inexpensive building in this game. I don't see an option for windows. We'll leave this as our door. Right there. Okay, let's build a roof. Now, some of the designs I've seen in the trailer look quite appealing for the types of homes that we can build, but I'm going to go with our uh, typical <laughs> our typical house. Oh, wait. Oh. The snappage is a little strange. There we go. Alright, a little, little extra attention to detail on building. Oh, what? Okay, wow, you can really place unrestricted, though. Alright, well, the rain has stopped. Let's go ahead and continue to build, though. So for you, what is one of the most important things in building games such as this? Do you like building vehicles or bases? Is the building important? Is the survival more important? Is the tools more important? The weapons? The combat? In a survival game such as this, where it's a little more fantasy like Raft, where you know the world is flooded, or in this case the world is... There's no earth, there's actually just uh, air all around us. What's one of the more important things that you'd like to see? I think in this type of game, I want lots of things to put inside of a very small house. I like it when a lot of things can fit in a small area, and then you can have verticality where you can build a house, and then eventually, you know, stack it up a little bit, have multiple floors, and then have, uh, you know, your workshop floor, your living quarters floor, storage, a few other things like that, where they can all be uh, tucked into a nice little house. But then eventually, you can make workshops. That's what I really like. I think that's a pretty cool thing. But let me know what you think down below of other games that do building right and games that you think uh, are the best for building some of the games that are best for survival best for combat i think i really like the uh, definitely like the building most of uh games like for example subnautica but i really like the combat of raft where a lot of it is just based on uh you know kind of tiered weapons and then timing your dodge and uh, being able to get out of the way of like for example a bear trying to charge you or Bruce, and different tactics such as ranged versus um, melee, that type of thing. All right, well, our house is certainly uh, <laughs> looking okay, I guess. At least it's a basic day one shelter, but hey, more time, we'll have more improvements. Okay, well, now we have a house up. Let's see what we got for bedding and such. We've got to go find some more st stones, those uh, research stones, in order to... Um, wow, and some of these places are very far away. Looks like the next island is up there, so I think it might be a best bet to go up and explore that way. 
Let's go over there. We'll swing by this island and see if we can get some water. Um, our stamina is looking a little low, but the only option we have, I think, is to lay down. Oh, are we oh, are we literally laying and looking at the clouds? Our character's just kind of chilling. That is resetting our stamina, yes. So that's going to be the way to do that. A little daydreaming. All right, well, let's head back here and grab some water. That'll boost our stamina and our health again. Now, there's combat in this game, too, so I have yet to see that, but I really would hope that it's going to be involving a lot of blocking and dodging. I think that looks great in a game. Wow, kind of hard to see that water. We kind of stumbled upon that, so we got lucky. Let's do a little daydreaming over here. And we'll head out. So now we got a lot of uh, resources, that's for sure. Also, it seems like this game's pretty generous with the storage space. Um, I haven't seen any storage items yet, but it does look at least that we have tabs for our tools, for example, versus our building materials. So these kind of take up their own slot and uh, don't really restrict you from using that uh, space for other things. In other words, you can bring all the tools you need with you and don't have to uh, kind of leave them behind. All right, wow, just laying in the grass, chilling. But I'm assuming these might be storm clouds for rainwater. So we might want to avoid those. And there might be a way to capture the rain, too. Oh, we're at peace now. What does that give us? Health regen plus 0 0.01. And our uh, max health improved to plus 25. Although it seems like it improved our stamina, too. So it must be maybe health equals stamina. If we have uh, half health, then we have half, half stamina. That might... Not be a good thing in a game like this, especially when we need to fly. So if we need to uh, have a flight or fight situation, we might not be able to do either if we don't have the stamina for it. All right, not too bad to regen stamina. We've actually almost like filled up the bar completely. Now, what mysteries lie inside that eternal hurricane? I don't know, but I'd really like to see. That's what the game considers that to be. Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming that the closer we get to that destination, too, the more... Rubble will find and more building materials and enemies to try to stop us. Let's go. Wow, there's a lot of islands out here. Luckily, the home is marked. Which means to me that we can't populate any island and take it over as a base. It might be just that main island. However, that could also be a restriction for the game's demo. It's also a little hard to tell that we're moving anywhere. Except for looking at the islands themselves. Other way... The only other way to uh, see that is to look at the mountains off in the distance in comparison to the clouds. Oh, here we go. Pine Forest. Some new. Oh, we have water. Oh, see, I, li I like this as a base. I want to build here. A great source of water for crops. Lots and lots and lots of trees. And another stone. Mother Earth provided that from which we thrived. Water, I'm assuming. Or... More than just that. A sawmill. All right. Okay. So now we can cut down logs. We can stay here for a while, but this definitely shows us that this is going to be the best area for gathering wood. Well, let's keep exploring until we can find more things to unlock. Exploration is going to be the best thing first for us to build our base and then eventually move it. Where's the next closest island? Maybe up there? Looks to just be a small one. Not a lot of stamina consumed at all. And we move rather fast. This is just the tier 1 wings. So eventually... Oh yeah. We can get many more. Under the stars, our fate was safe at last. Now we have a bed. Okay, so that'll be our stamina regen. Okay, so that's where we came from over there. Oh, it doesn't even show our house. Well, we have to fly. There should be a compass or something in order to see further. Let's go over here. Now, I'd like to see some airships in this game, too. <laughs> I'd like to go to that island as well, but it's covered in a storm. We'll hit it on the way back. Looks like some of these islands are encased in storms. Seems a little dangerous to approach could be hit by lightning. Wow, look at some of those distant, distant islands. Would be nice if we got a spyglass in order to see a little further and to mark things. Alright. 
Nothing here, it looks like. So the story of this game is that we're also trying to fight something that... Oh, here we go. Bones. Very nice. We're trying to fight a fungus that is uh, somehow... It, it, they've mentioned Earth, so Earth is no more. Or something happened where everybody is now flying in these islands. You know, it's basically a story, a fantasy story. And so any rules apply, I guess. So everybody's living up here now in the skies, which is pretty cool. And I am glad that we're not seeing just airships and that we can actually occupy an island. That makes it a lot more unique with how you're going to build things and the ability to build, like, for example, stairwells down to locations like this might be pretty cool. We found another one. The Sea of Clouds brought us at... Oh, brought us ashore. Home once again. And now we've got a helm. All right. So just like in Raft, we're unlocking building parts for our ship. Although it seems like it's going to be a long time before we get all the pieces together for that. I would assume we need a rudder, a sail, helm, maybe a few other parts for uh, propulsion. Maybe power will be a thing. Maybe we can actually have... Uh, maybe power doesn't refer to a windmill to gather, but more of a propeller to, well, propel. All right, let's go into this dangerous-looking area. Ooh. Oh, hi. So these clouds certainly indicate an island that has been taken over by this fungus. We have no weapons at the moment. And I don't see anything that can uh, be gathered here. These guys are fast, though. Oh, wow, yep. And they don't like us one bit. There was a marker to lay down there, but I don't want to do that. So none of these can be gathered or researched. Oh, here we go. Here's something. Destroy the nodes to cleanse the island. Okay. So those guys spawn at nodes. We have no weapon, though. And there's a lot of enemies. So the dark clouds imply an island has been taken over by the fungus. What is this under this island? Hold on. So that's our main enemy, is these weird fungus. Oh, there's a, uh, a shrine under there. Is there not? That's going to be tricky to get in there. Let's see if we can do it quickly. Can't really direct myself to get in there. There might not be something there. Looks like the easiest way is to come in over here. There we go. First try. Wow, that's tricky. Let's see. The great wind lended us its strength, for we were its ward. And we have ourselves a windmill leaf. Okay. So now we're starting to get more things for power and for navigation. I'd like to lay down for a little bit and regenerate stamina. All right, so every one of these islands has a ton of secrets. Although we have to continuously move as we're like in raft, you can stop and look around and take your time at least to find coves and caves and underwater um, areas where you can surface then where there's air. In this case, we got to keep moving. So hopefully eventually we get like a helicopter attachment or something for ourselves. Let's get out of here. We're going home. Maybe eventually we can make a weapon. So that island is great. Lots of trees, a potential for a sawmill, and water for potential farming. This island having a few trees too, although I believe we've already read this stone. No, we have not. The passageway to our home brought these weary to rest. Those weary to rest. Frame wrecked one by two. Can't. Weirdly enough, there's like something here I can't move around. Nor can I jump. That was weird. Like there's a structure here, but it doesn't show it. 
Ruins. That would be interesting to find. Alright, back home. So perhaps these islands move around. Perhaps they're constantly floating and they're not uh, necessarily stationary. But it looks like there are several mountain ranges to move across, unless that's a large cloud cover. But it would be really cool. It looks like as we get closer and closer to the... Look at that menacing hurricane, man. It'd be really cool if there was actually a... Uh, Difficulty as we get closer and closer. It looks like there is. We can see a, a little bit of a uh, a ring. The hurricane being like the center of this universe. There seems to be an outer line of mountains, inner and then inner inside of that too. So hopefully we'll eventually move towards that way. So not only are we building a house, but we also kind of need to build like a... We kind of have to almost think like we're building a boat. So it might in retrospect, be a good idea to build a section of the ship where we can actually see, like, for example, like this when we're flying. That way we can have our house, but then, like, a little helm attached to it. Like you would in Raft, where it's like you build your bridge or your pilot house for your steering and navigation, and then behind that, maybe you put a bed and some storage and stuff. All right, let's go ahead and jump across. Oh, wait. Oh, that must have been for flying. Grappling hook would be helpful. Let's go ahead and build this helm now. Let's see what it might take to do that. We might need a lot more materials. Okay. Oh, we found bone. Bone plus stone plus bone equals sharp bone. A resource used to craft weapons. So this is a tool, not necessarily a weapon. So this might be a way for us to use the crafting bench to make weapons. Or maybe not. Maybe it's its own tool, like a knife. Okay, well that's cool. No. It is not a tool. A resource used to craft weapons. Yeah, so it's something used for chiseling, perhaps making a bow and arrow. Cool. Uh, steer your island from the helm. Sharp enough to saw through wood and transform them into planks. Can be wind-powered. Connector rope. Used to connect windmills to machines. Oh, interesting. So this is how we're going to automate these things. So we need wind power to then use the... Or be, to be used at the sawmill. Okay. Well, might be a good idea to keep the sawmill at our base. Let's just place this down quickly to see what it looks like. Oh, we need uh, two stones for that. And then the windmill itself will need some plant fibers and planks. But planks mean we need the sawmill, so we'll have to make those manually. Let's go with the um, sharpened stone times two. Okay, then we can put down the sawmill. And we can always destroy this and get the materials back. So if and when we want to move something, that should be easy. All right, let's see what we got. Open container. Ah, okay, so input-output, right? Now how do we split a stack? So control to drag, right-click and drag will give us half. Let's put half our wood in there. Use sawmill hold E. Oh, we actually have to stand here. Oh, that's painfully slow. Right, let's stop that for a moment. Okay, if we're going to do some automated uh, power production, align with the wind to power machines. So our wind is coming in from... Well, I guess this is kind of like looking at the universe. We're looking kind of towards the... Uh, if this is north, we'll just call that east. Build some leaf fibers into cloth. grab a couple for the bed that will make two okay so let's build a now wait a minute it looks like there's different types of windmills maybe oh there's different designs look at that that's neat that's pretty nice what's that oh yeah dutch breathing intensifies yeah i don't think there's any difference to their power just their appearance so 
That's kind of cool. And especially since you have to be looking at these uh, all day, it's nice that there's different levels of those to build. Okay, let's get the uh, planks. And we also need to build some ropes, maybe, so that may also take the materials. I'm not sure how this is going to attach. Oh, did the wind change? This thing might be able to rotate, so let's just place it down and see how it works. Let's build that one. Seems good. Oh, we can adjust the height. Ah, and look at that. It requires more materials based on the height. Now, does that mean more power the higher we build it? Is there any measurement on the power production? All right, it is clipping through, but regardless, it looks really nice. Wait, what? Oh, we're, oh, we're, we're adjusting the size of the blades? Oh, I thought it was done. Oh, wow. So we can adjust the height and the width of the blades, which might adjust power. I don't know if there's actually a way to tell. Well, let's build ourselves a rope connector now. We've got to ma manually use this again. That is cool. I really want more games to do that, where you can build more specific um, items for your needs. Oftentimes, you have to build maybe two or three you know, windmills or something like that. A lot of post-apocalyptic survival games or city builder games will have you build like 17 windmills when you should only have to build maybe like two, three, or four based on using designs that are different to fit your needs. And that's really cool to see something like that in a survival game where you can actually build something to uh, fit the setup of your base. If that is the case, that, that would be amazing. But I do like the fact that we can change the appearance. All right, so how do we connect these two together? Maybe this has its own range. Let's check this out. So link to here. Negative 10. So that's consuming 10 power. So it's at 70% efficiency due to how the windmill is designed. So you're not going to know the power of the windmill, though, until you build it. You may as well build a gargantuan... Um, windmill and this kind of works like how it does in city builders such as timberborn where torque is important too for that kind of thing that's really cool wow look at that winds like splashing into our island like it's water that is awesome okay so now oh wow look at that it, yeah made 14 planks pretty much immediately that's great though wonderful efficiency and lots of lessons learned just by our first look at building that's really nice would be nice, though, to adjust this. It feels like it would be possible to make changes to this windmill based on the materials that we have. That's great. Let's build a helm, then. Just for fun. Of course, I don't know what direction we're going or what we're going to be doing, but we'll just plop it down on the ground just to, uh, just to do it. Just to see what special options it may give. Use helm. Island is too heavy to move. Build more sails. Yep. We turn the island at all without sails? No. So we'll have to go find sails now. So the helm just gives us a third person look at the island from a very distant view. So you could technically build a helm in the center of the island and not be able to see it all. It'll give you an outside view. And you could pretend as if you're using um, maybe like a uh, periscope or something. Okay, well, we're going to need to build more things out of wood. But I would like to explore some more, so let's plop down a bed and get our stamina back. So the bed requires probably just plant fibers times two, and then some wood. The plant fibers are mostly gained by either picking up very small trees or by cutting down a tree. So it looks like the resources could be finite pretty quickly. Wow, that's great. So yeah, it looks like you're going to be doing a lot of exploring. This doesn't like uh, perfectly snap to mid... Oh, okay. I'll build my bed out here then. There we go. Seems like our people have been living outside for a long time anyway. So sleeping... Oh, actually does change the time of day too. Okay. And we get a bonus of well-rested, which means walking speed is improved by 20%. So another buff. All right. Well, I want to craft some weapons. We do now have uh, 
a building material of planks, but it doesn't look like we can put planks in the workbench, which seems weird. Feels like if you were going to make a bow and arrow, it'd be out of a nice, you know, plank of wood. All right, well, where have we gone so far? Here for sure, we went there, we stopped there on our way back, we went there. There seems to be some islands way off in the distance. Might not be worth our time if we fly the way all the way out there and there's no sort of um, stone for us to research. Let's look around our base here. Maybe there's a secret underneath. No secret caves or anything. Okay. A light source would be nice. It's a little too hard to see at night. I would like the option to be able to set how long we sleep, so that way it makes it a little easier to uh, sleep at night. Or to make it through the, the day and night. Uh, not a way to destroy this? No? Oh, we can actually block. Oh, we might be able to use the uh, axe as a weapon then. We may have a weapon after all. You know, uh, I'm re referencing uh, raft a lot, and that's one of the things you can't do in raft is like use an axe as a uh, a weapon. You have to use your spear or your bow or uh, machete, etc. That's going to be an at home bonus too. Stamina consumption negative fifty. That's cool. As you move around, you don't really debuff. That's great. Some of these perks are really nice. Now, I'm hoping that if that's the case for perks of um, feeling at home and uh, being able to be well-rested and drinking water, that if we go into battle, there's a hell of a lot of perks that we could get. Buffs that would really help us out. All right, let's take a little nap again. want to wait till daytime. Kind of hard to navigate at night. But it doesn't look like there's much consequence for sleeping. It's only a positive. You get well rested, you regain stamina. The only thing you'd have to do is sleep twice. But at least the game doesn't say, "Hey, you're too, you're not tired to sleep." That's nice. You know, actually, there seems to be an island over there. I'm not sure how far that is. That could be really, really far. I'm not sure. Distance is a little difficult to tell. Now we went there and found a stone. We went there and found fungi, who were not fun at all, my guy. Not at all. Yes, I did say that. Deal with it. You can unsub if you want, or you should subscribe and smack the like button, and of course, consider becoming a member with that juicy join button down below if you'd like to. It's been super awesome having everybody in the channel for all of our live streams and videos, so thanks for being a big part of it, y'all. It's been a lot of fun. I've been enjoying myself. Looks like we've got a stone there, but I'm sure we went to this one already. We could try to fight the the nodes or whatnot. Let's let's try to get into a little bit of combat. There could be something to finally let us leave. I don't want to see if an axe can be a... Uh, we should have went to the uh, water. Ew, it's like ash. So this is... Whoa. Oh, yes, okay. Weird that there's no sound here for the combat. The, I feel like the creatures should make a noise. Oh, they're relatively easy to defeat. Are these the nodes? Yes. Okay, so they'll continue to pump out reinforcements. And we got a fungi fiber. Is that the node? There must be another one. Uh, resource used to craft rope. Okay. Learn. Destroy the nodes to cleanse the island. Oh, there's another one here. Yep, there's the enemy. So this reminds me a lot of State of Decay, where the... 
creatures, the undead in that game, will continue to spawn, or at least are made stronger by the uh, plague hearts that are in those areas. So this is kind of the same deal where this will spawn enemies, but will stop once you've basically destroyed the spawner. Are we consuming stamina by the swings? I think so. Yeah, combat does consume stamina too. Uh, now it's raining. So these things are very important. The fungi fibers seem to be a rare resource that can only be gained from destroying these. Nice, very clean. Not a bad concept. Love the combat, too. It's a uh, fairly simple combat, but I I'm all down for that, especially if there's tons of stuff to build. And the island is now cleansed of the the plague, the, the fungi plague. There's a cave down here, and there's a stone. As the wind grew stronger, so did our foundations. Unlocking a curved wall for us. Wow, so there's going to be a lot of things to explore and discover by ex a lot of exploration with the island, or the islands, from our uh, hang glider. Uh, shelter from the storm, we carve stones of wisdom. And we gain something from that, but I'm not sure what. Maybe the rounded frame? Didn't pop up, but hey, now we have another island to mine. And plenty of resources here, too. But one less thing for those uh, evil fungi to attack us with. Nice. All right, let's head home. Be back the other way. Ah, there it is. Uh, you know what? Actually, we're taking a big debuff because of the rain. And yeah, now we're tired. Should be able to build a bed here, though. I I feel like at this point we should be sheltered from the rain. Although it doesn't seem to track that. It's one of those games where even though you're indoors, it's like, nah, you're outside. But now it stopped raining, so that's good. Looks like there is a way to turn off snapping. I just noticed that. So snapping can either be turned on or off. So you do have free placement of items, or you can snap, which seems to be better if you're trying to put something inside, then you can put it square up against a wall or something like that and save yourself some space. Well rested. All right, let's uh, sleep again. Kind of funny. It looks like water is coming through the top of the cave with the wind coming down like that. Oh, it it is a, a little waterfall actually. Good little bonus for our drinking. All right, so caves have water. Some of the islands have secret uh, caves underneath them. Like for example, where you see the wind there off my uh, port side, left side uh, wing tip there. Very nice. Oh, but our island home is over here. Damn, without that marker, it's going to be hard to find home. All right, everyone. Well, that is it for our first look at Aloft. I want to come on back to this one for a big old juicy live stream to see more of the structures that we can craft and eventually to get underway with our lovely little island. So if you'd like to see more of this game, make sure you go ahead and click or tap that like button and subscribe. And we'll be back for more playthroughs of this game Sometime in the future, looks like we found ourselves a second home, so we can build more than just one home island. It must be based on where we've got our bed. So, anyway, thank you everybody for tuning in, and I'll see you all next time. There's so much more to do, and we have so much more to unpack for all the things that we'll find on all these islands. It'll be a good time. Thanks for watching.